Good afternoon, and welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to our Sky Factory 3 modded Minecraft Let's Play series. So today, there's, like I said last episode, there's some things that I want to work on, um, but of course, some of them take um, certain things. I'd rather have certain things farmed, like the wither and whatnot, so we're going to start working towards that kind of stuff today. Um, and what we're going to want to do first is, let's make ourselves... Some end crystals. Um, let me find them here, right here. This is a new feature. Um, oh, the recipe's tweaked a little bit by Draconic Evolution. Oh, to require nether stars. Okay, normally it's an eye of ender. But um, basically, this is a new vanilla mechanic. Draconic Evolution does slightly change the recipe, just with that, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> but this is a way to resurrect the end dragon, um, which is what I want to do today. So we're going to need to get ourselves four of these end crystals. Actually, I think they, yeah, they stack. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get those. Um, we haven't been to the end yet, but I know for a fact that people on the server have killed the end dragon. So we're going to take these just in case. Um, and then in addition, we're going to want an end cake. So let's get ourselves. It's funny that I actually have the cake and not the eyes of Ender. Which I actually think we got the cake out of a bag or something. And for right now, we'll just set the end cake right here. And you'll notice it's not much of a cake, right? It's just one piece. Uh, what you have to do is you have to get yourself more Eyes of Ender. I'm going to go ahead and just make a stack. We've got plenty of those resources. And apply these to it. And it'll form into a cake. And then anytime you take a bite, of course, you can add additional Eyes of Ender to uh, restore it. So, very, very nice. Um, and then in addition, I'm going to want some sort of ranged weapon. I could go Tinker's Constructs. Eh. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Draconic Evolution. <laughs> um, I actually like this bow a bit more. Nether Star, not really an issue. Since it only requires one of them. Um, and I mean, we're reaching the point we've got Draconic Evolution on farm. Or Draconic, you know, Draconic Blocks on farm. So we can actually start slightly moving towards Draconic Evo a little bit more as well. So let's go ahead and snag that. And then we're going to want some arrows. Let's see. Which this can be made with Skeleton Essence, which we have plenty of. We'll go ahead and grab a couple of those. And then we're also, of course, going to need to charge this up. So let me... Actually, we've got a vibrant capacitor right down here, don't we? Yes. I'm not too concerned about the power. How is that not filled? Okay, apparently it won't fill without an energy conduit plugged up to it. Okay. All right. Um, either way, I mean, well, somehow something was getting power. I don't know how it was working, honestly. <laughs> no clue. Anyways, you'll notice that it filled that up quick. Super, super quick. We'll go ahead and get our bow charged up. Now there is some, um, oh, what's my control for? Draconic Evolution. X? Yeah, that's fine. I've just never had it. I usually do, like, semicolon. Um, but let's see. Auto fire is off. I'm gonna go ahead and, s no. No, I want that off, actually. Magnification, arrow velocity. See, the only thing is, as you increase this stuff, it's gonna increase your cost per shot. So, base damage is set up. Velocity, I'm going to give it an additional 100%. Let's see. RF per shot right now is 6,480. And it holds 4 million. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, so, other than that, I mean, I've got bottles here. Which is one of the major reasons that I want to go kill the Ender Dragon right now. Um, in addition to the heart, of course. But I really want... Um, to get some dragon's breath. So, I think, I think we're ready. So, let's go. <laughs> and we got the achievement, I saw. Alright. Here we are. Looks like somebody's built this all out of cobble. And we're gonna have... We're gonna have all these wonderful...
All right. You know, we could set up um, one of those things that keep this stuff from spawning, you know. <laughs> from Ender I.O., like, having one of those here would be a little bit nice, I think. But anyways, our end crystals, we're going to need to set these up on the edges of this. I think it's the ender pearl stopping it. There we go. I was like, it's not letting me place this. And you'll notice it does kind of like a ritual effect. What it's going to do... There we go. It's resurrecting all of these um, end crystals, basically. So, go. <laughs> do it. There he is. He's so angry. He's so loud. No, 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 no. Alright. Oops. Alrighty. I feel like I've been fighting the Ender Dragon a lot lately. Like, we just did it on Direwolf, we did it on Qantas. Um, now we're doing it on here. And it's like, all like, you know, relatively around the same time. But I've noticed that in series, often, um, things will work out that way. Like, oh, I'm gonna go do this on this series. Well, gotta do it on this series, too. Like, I think kind of it reminds me to do it, almost. Or something. Or it just puts it on my mind, maybe. But, um... Of course, in Qantas, it was time to kill the Ender Dragon to move the era up. And then, um... In Direwolf, we needed it for Psy. You know. Ah, look at all these awesome aiming skills. It's too good, I think. I should probably go down so I can maybe get myself some dragon's breath. There's some. All right. There we go. We got 26 Ender Air Bottles and 20 Dragon's Breath. I will take it. Figured he would probably be starting that soon. This bow is like super slow <laughs> to kill things. Of course, there's no way... That's one thing I don't understand why they haven't added back into Draconic Evolution. Like, if we take a look here, there's really no way to add... At least no way that I know of. Maybe one of you guys know how how it's done, but um, a way to add in uh, enchantments to the uh, Draconic Evolution stuff, because I haven't been able to figure out a way to do it, you know. Because enchanting, I know, doesn't work either. He's flying down. And now, he's dead. <laughs> we win! Woo! Alright, so we'll get our dragon heart. This is one thing that I will really, really want. <clears throat> and there we go. There is our dragon's heart. And we got the dragon's egg. It just popped right off, I guess. Um, I know. Oh, whoa. That stuff hurts. Oh, my God. 
Apparently armor does not stop it. See, like, they've changed a lot since 1.7, and I haven't, you know, I've fought the Ender Dragon a few times since 1.7, but not really, I wouldn't say extensively. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been hit by that. It actually, it actually packs a little bit of a punch. Um, but anyways, let's head on back. Hopefully this doesn't take me to... I'm not sure where this is going to take me to, you know. Oh, it takes me back here. Cool. Alright. I didn't know if it was going to take me to, like, the spawn point of the world, or or what. Alright. So, we've done that. We killed that. We got some Supremium Essence. Very, very nice. Um, so, let's dive slightly into Draconic Evolution and do our Awakened Draconium, which is always, always nice. Alright, so first up, let's go ahead and get ourselves our Draconic uh, Information Tablet. Um, because I know there's been some changes, I think, to the Awakened Draconium now. Oh, there we go. Um, so if we take a look here, Awakened Draconium, you can see that we have to actually do fusion crafting. So we're going to have to start getting into that. I totally forgot about that. I know I've, I've done it before, like in all the mods, but I haven't done it enough to where I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. So let's go ahead then and start getting into um, infusion crafting a little bit um, today. I know we're already about halfway through the episode, so we'll go ahead and jump right into it, though. Um, the way infusion crafting works is we're going to need eight of these crafting injectors. So um, starting out, you're going to want bas basic fusion crafting injectors. Um, whenever we go to upgrade, we will upgrade those into the Wyvern Fusion. And actually, technically, I guess we'd want nine. Because you're going to need, like, you're going to need the uh, the eight to infuse the ninth. So, eight is fine. Let's go with, every nine is fine. We'll go with that. All right, and I actually forgot one thing. I forgot to get the Fusion Crafting Gore. So, let's go ahead and snag that really, really quick. If you haven't seen this stuff run, it is really, really cool. All right, and I think for right now, we're going to set it up right here. This looks good. And keep in mind, this is going to be a very temporary setup. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and put our fusion crafting injectors. Just like this. You can also do this horizontal, vertical. Um, you know, it, it's really just up to you. Um, and we'll go ahead and bring this up just a couple um, there's a whole big section on this in the Draconic Evolution tablet. Um, you can do, like, massive distance if you want between these. I tend to just put them close together, you know. But, uh, I don't know, we may we may actually have them out a little ways. We'll see. We'll play around with it and everything. And then we're going to add in our other fusion crafting injectors above this. And basically, you need eight of them um, facing your uh, crafting core. And so now we need to run power over to this. I'm going to need some conduits. And we'll get all this plugged up. There we go. And so now, everything is sorted. You'll notice we have our, our crafting core in the center. And we've got our crafting injectors around it. Um, like I said, there's a lot of variations you can do in the way that you set this up. Now, in addition, um, to set this up, we're going to need to start upgrading these uh, fusion crafting injectors because if we take a look here at the um, Draconic Evolution, if we wanted to get, say, our Awakened Draconium blocks, um, you'll notice that we're going to need Wyvern core, Wyvern level, um, which is the second tier. So um, we are going to have to go ahead and upgrade these. And in order to do that, we're going to need, and keep in mind, we're going to want to do nine of them. Because, like, whenever we go to upgrade these, they're going to require Wyvern Core. So you might as well go ahead and make nine and have your rotating one. Um, but we're going to need nine Wyvern Cores, 18 Draconic Cores, and nine Draconium Blocks. And then a whole bunch of Diamonds. And then we needed, what, 18 Draconic Cores? Which these are really easy to make. That's not a problem. And then we're going to need nine Wyvern Cores. Oh, this is actually rather expensive. Rather, rather expensive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just make like a stack of these. Okay, we're out of nether stars. So let me get... Actually, let me show you how this is crafted, and then I'll get working on the, the rest of it. Um, but if we take our diamonds... Whoops. Totally forgot. You need to do these 
This is one thing that drives me insane. It will place however many that you have in your hand. Kind of makes sense because later on we're going to have some things that require like four of a certain item. Um, for example, the Awakened Draconium requires four. Um, so just keep in mind if you're doing like something like that, put them in your hand one at a time. Now another option that you can do, this is what I'm probably going to do, is since we're going to be just fusion crafting nine of these things in a row, we can add these in nine at a time. And it's only going to use one at a time. So, um, you know, basically we do this once, and there we go. That's done. Those are forever, <laughs> forever in place until we're finished. Um, the same with the draconic cores, the draconium blocks. The only thing we'll have to work our way through is the wyvern cores. And so then what we can do is we can throw our basic crafting fusion fusion crafting injector in there and it'll show you like this is the recipe that we want and you can hit start this thing looks amazing when it works too I love it Doo -doo 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 -doo. there were so many good like just really, really good effects and stuff added with 1.10, I think. Like, the blood magic stuff is this way. Like, really, really cool to watch and stuff. Absolutely love it. And there we go. So, um, there's our first Wyvern Fusion Crafting Injector. And you'll notice around here that all of our items are still in place, which is great. Um, I am going to remove this one. We'll add in our Wyvern Fusion Injector, and you'll notice that they don't all have to be the same type, which is really, really nice, as long as it's basic or better. Um, basically, this recipe requires basic, so as long as all of these are basic or better, it's going to work. So we'll go ahead and start up this next one and let it run, and I'm going to work on some Wither Spawning for just a bit here. Um and get ourselves some more wither uh, or nether stars my bad so i will be back in a moment once i've got all these um, all of these upgraded and everything all right welcome back um we should this should be finishing up and this is i mean we've got full wyvern now i was just going ahead and doing that ninth one so whenever we go to do the um, draconic level it'll be done and so next up, what we're going to want, because basically I think this first, this episode, we're mainly just shooting for our first bit of Awakened Draconium, which will be great. Uh, it does, it is a lot easier, you know, in the future. <laughs> so for this, we just need um, six Draconic Cores and then our Dragon Heart and four Draconium Blocks. So that's actually not that bad at all. Um, because of course the Draconic Cores, there they are. <laughs> We've got plenty of them. And, whoops. Throw those in there. Oh, I must have had one too many in that one. And remember these one at a time. And I think next episode what we're probably going to be working on is an automatic... Um, actually, I'm going to set it over here just because it looks better. Um, I think I want to do an automatic wither farm. Because getting nether stars, I hate having to do that manually. That's terrible. So we're going to go ahead probably and automate that. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so that looks good. We'll throw in our draconium blocks and hit start. And this one, you will notice it takes it does take a little bit longer. It's going to have to charge up more power. Um, because see, in the past with draconic evolution, of course, you, were, you needed the charged draconium blocks. Well, now they don't do that anymore, so the way I think that they balance it is they make this take a lot of power to charge it up but luckily <laughs> luckily we already have a just insane um, power generation setup so that's one reason I didn't want to start Awakened Draconium before that is because um, you know having this having this in place is ideal so but you'll notice the drain on this is actually pretty good <laughs> I mean it's it's working to keep it uh, to keep it up and everything. So, 
Um, by the way, this is going to be stairs. I don't think I like how steep these are, though. That's the only thing about, like, vanilla-shaped stairs, which it's not going to stay cobblestone, of course, but um, it's a little bit, little bit steep for me, I think. Um, let's see, how's this? 14%. So that is gonna take that is gonna take a little while, and I will say that if you're going for the draconic fusion crafting injectors, you'll notice that these take awakened draconium blocks. So your first like two sets plus another one if you're doing like the spare. Um, luckily, that is the last time that you'll have to do the spare because there's only a fourth tier. But if you're going for that, your first bit of awakened draconium is going to go straight right back into. Um, right back into the, uh, you know, the system, or back into making more fusion stuff and everything. There we go. That's regen two. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we're going to give this just a bit. It is going to take a little while to get this charged up. So I will be back in um, just a bit whenever this is, you know, actually doing something. You'll notice it's starting to build the orbs, but still a long ways off. So I'll be back. All right, here we go. We're at 99% to our first Awakened Draconium. Do, do, do. And there we go. So now the crafting process doesn't take nearly as long. Just the charging process is what takes so long. Um, and this is just when the orbs come out and they spin around it and stuff. and It creates our Awakened Draconium. I love the sound effects for this stuff, like the, the staticky pop, I think it's really, really good. Alright, here we go. Four Awakened Draconium Blocks. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, now this Awakened Draconium, I don't know, I might, between this episode and next, I may go ahead and upgrade to the Draconic Fusion Crafting Injectors. Um, like I said, there is one above that. This one does require the, uh, uh, chaotic core, which is a lot of awakened draconium, and chaos shards, which of course are um, <laughs> they require the big dragon. Um, but for right now, um, I do believe that I'm probably going to end out this episode here. <sighs> um, now, realistically, I probably won't do these crafting injectors until we get our um, wither spawner up and going. Um, which we'll do that next episode, and then uh, a few other things probably. Um, one thing that I do want to start heading towards, and the reason I wanted to start Draconic Evolution today, there's it's actually twofold. There's one thing that I want that's going to require a lot of Nether Stars, um, or at least a fair few at first. Then long term, it's going to require a lot of them. And then in addition, I want to start getting into Draconic Evolution power. Um, relays and stuff because since the infinite transfer pipe is no longer in here um, I do want to go for the draconic evolution because it's probably the next best thing um, it is very very powerful um, energy transfer and not not terrible to make um, you'll notice it does require some wyvern cores wyvern energy cores and some diamonds but it's not all that expensive um, overall so that's one reason um, of course, that I want to get my Wither Spawner up and going. <laughs> so, that's what we're going to do next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. And go ahead and subscribe if you're not already for more daily videos. And if you guys have any questions or anything, as always, feel free to let me know. And I will definitely do my best to get those answered for you. And so, hopefully, next episode, that will be moved up to here. And it'll be all, all spiffy-like. So... Um, but anyways, next episode, Wither Grinder, Wither Spawner and Grinder, and then probably Draconic Evolution Power Relays is what we're going to get into, I hope. That's my goal. So anyways, I hope to see you guys next time. And until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys then.